Hey, welcome back to another Type 5 How-To. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably like me and have been dealing with some really rusty water when you wake up in the morning, whether it's in your sink, your toilet, or your shower. So I'm gonna explain why that happens and what you can do to prevent it and fix it in the future. Now, first of all, you're probably on well water and that well water has a lot of iron in it. Uh, now, what we want to do to get that water a lot cleaner is filter all of that iron out. Now, I've gone through a couple different steps to help clean up that process here at my own home. First, I've installed an inline pre-filter uh, made by iSpring. It's on a timer and it takes a lot of the large iron particles that I have here in my water out, but a lot of fine iron still makes its way through. And it goes through the water softener system. Now, if you're waking up to yellow or, or reddish tinted water, you probably do have a water softener, whether or not you've been adding salt to it uh, may be affecting this issue for you. Now, what I found that um, I get this problem a little bit more often when I'm not keeping up with the salt in my water softener system. So the way that this works is that water with the iron will go through your softener system and run through this resin bed where it has a whole bunch of beads that are charged and as those uh, contaminants go through, the water softener beads there pick up all of those particles and out comes nice clean softened water. But over time, those resin beads get dirty. They collect a lot of those contaminants. And so it uses salt to run through a regeneration cycle to clean off those beads. Now, if you've run low on salt, the beads will get really fouled up. And so then when it runs through the regeneration cycle, it will remove a good amount of that iron in the process and discharge it, but you'll have some particles that just kind of like get stirred up. And then when you run your water in the morning, all of that stirred up contaminants ends up coming through your system. So you get that red water in your, your toilet or in your sink until you run it for about five minutes or so, and it all cleans up or, you know, the most, for the most part, it cleans up. Okay. So to fix this problem, we want to stay on top of our salt and keep our resin beds really clean. So if your resin beds are dirty, um, one thing that I would really recommend is to get a type of resin bed cleaner. Now I have some heavy duty uh, water softener cleaner here. You add about a half a cup into the uh, resin chamber and then you run it through the regeneration cycle. And if it's been a while since you've done this, uh, you may have to uh, run through that regeneration cycle three, four, maybe five times. And what you'll notice is every time after you do the regeneration, the water will go a little bit brown um, for a little bit and then it'll clean up. But then every time it's going to get lighter and lighter and lighter uh, until you've done a good job of cleaning up that resin bed. And then we wanna make sure that, we're, of course, we're adding salt to our water softener and staying up on top of it. Now, to make the process even easier in terms of maintenance, you can get one of these automatic resin bed uh, cleaning systems. Uh, this one's called ResCare and it attaches to the side of your water softener and they're pretty easy to install. Now, <clears throat> I've gone through the process here of marking out and drilling in uh, two quarter inch holes where the hanger for the resin uh, cleaning kit goes and you actually uh, want to make sure that you're hanging this as close to the, uh, the resin container as possible here. Uh, I made the mistake first off of hanging it in the wrong spot, so I drilled some new holes. And then you'll want to uh, also make sure that you've drilled a hole in the top cap if there um, is a cap there for that hose to go through. And I've also drilled a hole or a slot on the side so that I can put everything back together and that hose um, will fit when the top is back on. 
but once you get everything all lined up and drilled and ready to go, you want to soak the hose um, or the wick in a little bit of water and then you'll put it down into the container um, so that it reaches the bottom of the container. Screw that lid on and feed the hose up through the top and into your uh, resin <coughs> regeneration tube there. And then we'll put everything back together. Again, make sure that we fill it up with salt. And you'll want to run that regeneration cycle again, uh, potentially multiple times if you're using that um, water softener cleaner. And then what this kit will do is it will slowly wick in this cleaner and, and drip over time so that every time that it does a regeneration cycle, it has a little bit of that extra cleaner to really help out the process to clean off those beads if you have a lot of heavy iron in your system. Uh, so it just kind of helps out the, the salt uh, do its job and makes your water softener work a lot more efficient. So if you learned anything from this uh, video, feel free to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more helpful tips and tricks like this in the future. Uh, but that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully I'll see you all on the next one.